in today's video, man, I want to talk to you about something that if you have been walking uh, with the Most High Yah, you know, you are a part of spiritual Israel, you know, this is something you're going to experience on your journey. Let's talk about it. the most high Yah shalom thank you for tuning in to another righteous spiritful episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man you don't know how many times man i get christian people highly religious highly devout christian people trolling the comments and you see when you think about spiritual israel we're not just staying on the surface like Christianity wants you to do. They want you to stay on the surface and not get deeper. Don't study to show yourself approved. Just believe what we tell you. Man, the typical Christian answer when you're talking about things that they don't want to believe because it's in their Bible, but they reject it, is they say, well, it's not a salvation issue. You got to think about this. If the book says that these people will not inherit the kingdom, and then it gives you, uh, gives you different titles and things that you can go behind and research. Okay, what is this? The adulterer, the effeminate, you know, uh, the sexually immoral. It gives you a whole list in several places telling you, hey, you will not inherit you know, the kingdom, covetous, the covetous people. You'll be talking about this stuff and then you'll have some random uh, dead faith Christian get in your comments and start trolling. Happens more than you know. It's not a salvation issue. Then they start posting uh, Bible verses that ain't got nothing to do with what you talked about at all have nothing to do with what you're talking about. When you start talking about coming out from among them, being ye separate, you know, come out from among her, you get the ones, it don't matter whether it's in the front of the book or the back in the book. They want a doggone, well, 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 Jesus never said that. Like, wait a minute. Messiah was the one referring back to Paul to teach the Pharisees because they didn't have no understanding. Man, let me tell you something. If you read the book and you look at stuff and all of it, Messiah says he comes in the volume of the book. It says, thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth. So if you're reading stuff and you're automatically saying, well, that's not a salvation issue. Man, I wonder what areas of your life you're truly rebellious in towards the Most High Yah. And I tell you, man, it doesn't matter what kind of what kind of video, uh, what kind of video I post, what I'm talking about, man. The spiritual attacks will come from the religious people, just like the Pharisees was always. Uh, poking at Messiah when they didn't have no business they should have put the shut to the up and actually witnessed because the Pharisees they had what you call dead faith you know they believed they believed that they had understanding they had a spirit of truth until Messiah came around and showed that they were fruitless and their understanding was full of leaven you know man you can talk about marriage you can talk about uh, the lawful putting away and people don't want to acknowledge what you're showing forth, uh, breaking it down deeper because they don't want to go deeper. They're comfortable with being on top, not having any understanding. You know, I'll talk about uh, sex before marriage and, and all of this stuff. You got these people talking about uh, it's not a salvation issue. It's not a salvation uh, issue or topic. 
all of this foolishness. And I'm wondering like, like, man, that, that must suck for you to be reading the book and everything that he's telling you to do is salvation based, making sure that salvation gets you in the kingdom. Because when the word says the covetous, the effeminate, the this, the that will not inherit the, the kingdom, it's a lot of people gonna find out that it was a salvation issue. And you'll see in your true rebellion, you might be outside knocking on the gate because you didn't get in. In them seven end time judgments. Tell you, man, people, you, people can't learn anything, man, where their hearts are hard, where they don't want to uh, acknowledge truth. And uh, I gotta start putting a disclaimer because I watch, a, I watch people's videos and I can hear them say some of the outlandish stuff, but I don't have no time to troll nobody. Like, who has time for that? The religious heathens do. Closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing, gun, barrel, straight. Wow.